Okay, so when you launch the Citrad Pro software, uh, you will see the home screen um, and it will show the servers that are available. Uh, in my case, I've got two additional servers that have uh, already configured uh, the, this one and the test home one. Um, but in, uh, in a fresh uh, situation when someone launches the uh, Sutrat Pro for the first time, uh, these two servers that uh, I have already made uh, will not be there. Uh, but you will still see local server and demonstration server. So local server is basically Sutrad local um, or it's the local local station. Uh, which is what you want to use most of the time. <clears throat> so let's open the local server. Double click on it. Uh, by default, the username and address are both, uh, the username and, uh, and password are both admin. So let's put admin and say connect. <clears throat> also, uh, one thing to keep in mind is uh, that, so this, this is the home screen. Uh, you don't need to see the screen all the time. If you click on the little button over there in the bottom left, uh, you can you can say don't show. So every time you launch the software, it will go directly to the server that you want to see, which will be mostly the local server, which is this one over here. Uh, okay, so it's launched now. Um, I can see the local server. Also, uh, there are uh, various uh, uh, options that I have. Uh, so let's uh, let's add uh, a converter which is the USB interface. Now, the best thing to do is search automatically, so that way it will search for all the uh, converters uh, that Full Gauge uh, offers. So let's do that, let's search automatically. Uh, and now what it's gonna do is search any converter that is uh, that it's connected to, either through Wi-Fi or through an Ethernet cable or through a USB cable. Uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter how you have connected it, uh, but now it's gonna uh, run, uh, scan through the system and try to find whatever converters are there. So here you see the USB uh, interface, uh, it's found it, um, it's saying new because it's never seen this one before. So I'm going to double click on it and now it's what, what's going to do is it will uh, basically uh, start uh, or allow me to configure this uh, th this converter into uh, onto my software. So you will see it populate on the left hand side underneath the local server you will see the converter uh, USB version 2. What I could also do is uh, rename the converter I can call it uh, test or I can call uh, USB number one or I can I can give it a name any name that I want. Um, also it's, it'll, there you will see characteristics uh, all through that, that I can change so like you like uh, you see here I can I can change the name um, to anything I can change the sampling frequency um, and, and other things this is version 2 so and it's, it's selectable but by by default uh, and also based on the search that it did it put it found version 2 which is correct so I'm gonna all this is fine so I'm just gonna save it <clears throat> and uh, now it's gonna take the, uh, uh, the the converter and put it on the left hand side so that means uh, it's successfully complete we'll say okay and uh, you'll see the USB converter over here. Um, so that's done, it's active also. Uh, so basically uh, it's, it's running, status is active. I can edit it if I want. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is search for instruments. 